Hi there, I'm Michael Underwood, dad of two and celebrity MasterChef finalist, and welcome to my brand new series for Scoff Food, Cooking for Kids. Today, we're going for an old favorite, mini pizzas. First thing to do is place 500 grams of strong white flour into a large white bowl and add eight grams of salt. Mix this together, and then you need to make a well in the middle. In a separate smaller bowl, place the warm water, the yeast, and the olive oil, and mix together. Leave that for 30 seconds or so. Then place this yeasty liquid into the flour and slowly start to combine it together until you form a dough. Once it forms into a dough, remove it from the bowl and lightly flour a worktop surface and really give it a good kneading. You can do this any way you like and of course you can get your children involved as well at this stage. I've got my own sort of technique to get it going. All you need to do is work that dough, then get it into a bowl, cover it and you want it to rise till it's about double in size. And here we go, the dough has uh, risen really nicely, We've got a good rise on that so we can just remove it from the bowl. You may find it's a little bit sticky, don't worry too much about that at all. Now obviously we don't need to make one giant pizza, we're going for mini pizzas here, so you just need to take off a little piece how much you want to make. I'm going to try this little amount first. And then really, you want to work it into a classic pizza shape. And then of course comes the best bit, the toppings. So once you're happy with your shape, I'm pretty happy with that. What I would do is as well, with my fingers, I'm just going to indent it slightly because I'm going to place a tomato -y sauce there and I don't want it to suddenly run off. So if you just put a slight indent around, it gives it a little base for it to sit on. Now at this stage you want to add the passata. Now if you haven't used passata before, it's brilliant. It's basically tomato puree. But in a run it's like taking all the pips, all the pulp, everything's out. So all you've got is this lovely tomato sauce, which is perfect to put on the base of your pizza. You just want to take a little bit of that and just place it on and then you're just smoothing it around. And then, you just get to experiment. It's got some uh, chopped red pepper, there's some ham, olives, mushrooms, yellow pepper, mozzarella, pepperoni. You can use anything you like. This is the best bit. Be creative and let your children be creative. So let's have a look. I'm going to do a, a little face. Always goes down well. So I'm going to pop that on here. A couple of olives. Again, you can do anything you like here. You don't have to, you can spread them more evenly if you just want a nice looking pizza, or if you want your children just to have a bit of fun, let them do whatever they like. It'd be great to know what you've done and what your children are gonna do. So uh, take pictures, get them into us, at Scott Food, that's on Twitter or Instagram. We would love to see what you come up with. So you just wanna slide the spatula underneath, just like that. Carefully, 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 lift it up and pop it onto your baking tray. I'm going to carry on now and use up the rest of my dough, then they're all going to go in the oven for about 10 minutes. My advice, keep your eye on them. Pizzas can be tricky. One minute they look undercooked, you go back a minute later and they're burnt. So just keep your eye on it, but aim for about 8 to 10 minutes. So here they are, pizzas out of the oven. Do you know what the great thing about doing these is? You never know how they're going to turn out. Look at the magic here. <laughs> the great thing is your children are going to have so much fun doing them as well. And it doesn't matter because they're going to taste great. So it doesn't matter how they look. We've got some crazy faces and some normal looking ones, but just go wild. Uh, if you want the full recipe, you can find it on the website. And don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel.